special A9 TV interview with Professor Michio Kaku, co-founder of String Field Theory, Part 1. Michio Kaku, the famous scientist of Japanese ancestry, is a theoretical physicist born in the United States of America. One of the most prominent physicists of recent times, Professor Kaku has written many books and has appeared in countless radio and television programs. Michio Kaku is known for his contribution to the popularization of science and has researched such subjects as black holes and the expansion of the universe. He is also one of the founders of string field theory, one of the basic models of physics. We have the illusion that things are solid, but actually things are empty. So why is it that we don't fall to the floor? Why is it that things look, look uh, solid? Because electrons repel each other. So I'm not really standing on this floor because electrons don't like each other. They repel each other and that's why we have the illusion that things are solid when actually there's nothing here. Things that are solid are not really solid at all. We have the illusion that they're solid. But we think of reality as being solid, but it's really not that way at all. So we're, we're living in our brains. In some sense, when you look at the mirror, you're not really looking at yourself. In a mirror, you're looking at yourself as you were two billionths of a second ago, because that's the time it takes for light to go from your face to the mirror and back again. And then according to quantum mechanics, your face is actually a wave. You're actually vibrating. That sounds incredible. But we measure this with our instruments in the laboratory. And so when you look at a mirror, you're not really looking at you. You're looking at an average of what you look like. Uh, if you see, if you see, touch, hear everything in our brain as electric signals, how can we know that matter exists outside? Our brain averages what we see, so you're asking the question, is it possible to fool the brain? And the answer is yes. But is the question, is, is reality fake? I mean, is everything we see around us fake? You think this is reality, but it's really not. And it can be an, yes. an holographic universe. And perhaps be unaware of, this, of the difference between reality and unreality. Now we're beginning to create artificial touch. This is called haptic technology. We're able to create the artificial sensation of touch when there's nothing there. But let's talk about the real world. Mm -hmm. At this moment, can we understand that? Are we living in a dream world or a real world? Well, it, in principle, the world that we see around us may be a dream world. Mm -hmm. You cannot disprove that theory. Uh, the matter, atoms are completely dark with 99% nothingness. So how do you see a colorful three-dimensional world? We see a world that is an illusion. So it has the illusion that we are solid, the illusion that we can touch things. For example, I'm not really sitting in this chair. How is it possible? I'm not really sitting in this chair. I'm hovering, floating, one angstrom above the chair because electrons do not like to be in the same quantum state. They repel each other. Now, why is it that my hands don't go through each other? Why do we have this illusion that I'm solid, right? And the reason is when I slap my head, my hand does not really touch my head at all. It bounces off my head one angstrom away. So we have the illusion that things are solid when actually things are not. Okay, we said that uh, we interpret electric signals coming from the outside world. Okay, what is the being which interprets electric signals as light, color, sound, smell and taste? Well, we don't really know. And it's specialized, so certain parts of the brain create an image of you in terms of sound, in terms of smell, in terms of sight, but it's not really you. Yes, it consists of electric signals. That's right. It? 